What's up Guiding Bolt fans, Nick here, and as you can see I got a lawnmower in front of me. This is a nice uh, yard, yard man, self-propelled mower. I actually got this off of Craigslist for free, and it was a combo deal. I got this guy and that red one over there. The red one's already fixed. I might make a video on it, but I wanted to for sure do one on this one because for the first time in forever, I didn't have to clean the carburetor <laughs> to get this damn thing going. It was, uh, it was kind of nice. So um, the problem was, you can see here, this is the, uh, this is like the throttle cable that comes down and this is what you have to, um, it's like the start or the stop cable. If you, you gotta pull down the lever to start the thing. Obviously, you, you know how a lawnmower works. You gotta pull this down to start it and then release it to stop it. So the problem was is that it wouldn't start. The person said they couldn't get it started. And uh, after looking at it, the problem was is that when you would pull that lever down, this right here, this was so rusted, I'll show you the other, other end in a second, but this was so rusted that when you would pull it down, it wouldn't actually pull this spring back. So it just stuck there, uh, keeping the lawnmower from starting. So what I had to do is uh, basically I just pulled the cable off. You can see right here that it'll, if you just depress the, those little tabs right here, you can pop that out of there. And this actually, you'll, you'll see other videos talking about uh, fixing the throttle cable. You can adjust this, and I'm actually gonna probably adjust it a little bit more just to give myself a little more, a little more length in the cable, just to uh, get a little more pull out of it. But anyways, you can adjust these guys. All you gotta do is turn them, and you can get yourself an extra half an inch on either end. So there is, uh, that's the one end. Up here is the other end. To get this out, all you gotta do is just kinda pull, rotate this clip while pushing on this and that'll pop right out. And once you get that out, you can get this center cable out. You just kind of pull it up. You can see that I'm pulling it up through there. You just pull it up there, pull up, pull it up out of there, jeez. And uh, there's some little tabs in there. If you push those down with a needle and those pliers, you'll be able to get this out. So I pulled this cable out and you could pull it real easy one way, but it wouldn't go back the other way. So if you look at this in my hand here, you can see that this is really dark. The cable's really dark on this end. We come down here and it's nice and silver. So what, what happened was, is this was, these, the cable ends were reversed. And this thing has probably sat outside for who knows how many years. And as it's raining and stuff like that, snow getting on there, it's all kind of like leaking down this throttle cable right here. And uh, this whole end was all just rusty and nasty. So what I did is I just pulled it off and I would extend the cable. I extended the cable on both ends and then just doused it in WD-40. And I just kept working it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until it actually got easy to move again. So as you can see, and now when I pull the throttle cable, you can actually see that moving so that I'll disengage that stop so we can actually get this thing started. So I put the good end down here just because I wanted it to be able to pull back and forth easier down here. And then I got the, uh, the cruddy end up here. But after, Getting that WD-40 in there, it really made, I mean, it made a world of difference. So just to show you what I did here, this might be a little maintenance tip that I'll probably end up doing on this guy. But if you just squirt it right down in there, that's all I did, and then I just worked it back and forth. So that is it. Hopefully, uh, if anybody has this uh, same problem, this helped you out. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave it down below. I'll probably still clean the carb on this just because it does run a little, uh, little boggy, but oh, I tell you what, it was awesome not having, not having to do that just to get it started. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching and until next time.